the first thing I have to emphasize on, because it's truly mind-blowing that we're at this day and age, all the Legion Go really is, is just a tablet. It's a little bit bigger than the size of the iPad mini and does exactly what any Windows computer would do in iPad mini form. Maybe you're like a student and you have to use Microsoft Word and all these different things. You can do it on here. You don't necessarily need a laptop. Obviously it's good to have a laptop, but just it, the fact that you can just take off the remotes and treat this as an iPad mini running on Windows. I will expect to be seeing third-party accessories coming in very soon where you can use the bottom USB-C to plug in a keyboard that fits the Legion Go's width really, really well. And so it could literally be the tiniest, most powerfulest laptop on the market right now. Aside from this bad boy, which is mind blowing to me, I might want to pick one up pretty soon. I spent a good 15 minutes analyzing every tiny detail about the Legion Go. And what I've found is if you raise the kickstand, there's a barcode. And if you scan that barcode on your phone, you can instantly pull up your warranty. You can upgrade your warranty. Customer service is right there for you. And there's a few other features in here that are interesting. I haven't seen anybody talk about these. I, it's a cool thing to know. So if you do have an issue, just scan that baby and they should have your back. Now, I'm not talking crap on any review out there, but I will say that while everyone was making their reviews, I was playing cyberpunk on this thing and I have a lot of play hours on it. And what I've found is that over time, we start to realize how heavy this thing is. It's not that much more heavier than the other handhelds out there, but it definitely is heavier. And so what I found myself doing was I'd be laying in bed and I'd pop the kickstand up on my chest because holding it can be a little bit of a hassle after a good hour or so. Now the problem is that when you hold this, there's two buttons right here on the right controller and your fingers will touch them and they will click. And depending on the game that you play, your, your character will react to that. Um, in my case, it's throwing a grenade. And I don't want to be throwing a grenade at a bunch of civilians that are literally getting iced coffee in Night City. After years of searching for what I'm obsessed with, I finally found something that constantly keeps me happy and it's handheld devices. I want to grow this channel. I really want to scale it up. I want this to be the place to go when a new handheld comes out or if you're learning how to do something. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe because you, you'll do that if you like the video. But if you did not like the video, tell me why you didn't. That way I am aware and so I can improve on the next one. Now here's something that I'm so excited to tell you and it's that if you're somebody who likes immersion, you want to get away from reality and you want to be consumed in another world where you're the character. You can take my opinion with a grain of salt, but this is probably aside from VR, the most immersive way you can play a game. And the reason is because all you do is you plug in your headphones and you are constantly so close to the screen that it it's the same thing as having playing in a movie theater with a giant, giant projector shining at the screen in front of you. It's that big. When this is up close to you, it's that big. When I'm playing cyberpunk, I am literally walking through the streets in this with this gorgeous giant display and I feel like I'm truly there. More so than if I HDMI it to a TV. More so than on my monitor for some odd reason. There's something about the comfortability of just being on the lead and go and playing and escaping reality that I have not found anywhere else. I thought I was immersed with this thing. This takes it to a whole new level. And the best part about it is the fact that you can take this anywhere you go. On a work trip, you're at a hotel, get immersed. You're at your family's Thanksgiving dinner and you don't want to socialize with your annoying cousins, get immersed. Now this goes back to the fact that you can detach these controllers. And what makes this so cool is that the Legion Go acts as a fantastic docking companion. I switch between Mac OS and Windows quite often for a few reasons. And with, a, with an appropriate dock like this one here, I'm able to seamlessly transition into the Windows operating system. And it just sits there ready for me. 
so cool to have. And the coolest thing about that is that I don't have limitations with this device. If I wanted to edit video on this thing, I could do that very well. If I wanna use Unreal Engine and make some cool little graphics or things like that, I can very well do that. Now you're probably wondering, how long do these controllers last? I decided to put it to the test and the results blew my mind. So here you can see me doing a full blown time lapse. I was playing for a total of two and a half hours on Cyberpunk and I connected it to my TV just for the heck of it so I could utilize these controllers. I lay on my bed and go back to my TV. I felt like I was playing for ages and then I click on this button to check the battery and what do you know it's at 89% okay three hours 10% down this is crazy and I, I just I said how am I going to continue testing this it's already almost 1 a.m. I can't these batteries are nothing to worry about I wish I could tell you exactly how long they lasted but I don't have the patience for that so <laughs> they're gonna last you long enough. The next thing that I have to talk about, you know, you're probably watching this because you're looking at purchasing one of these. And if I just want you to understand something very important here, graphics drivers, tweaks, updates, this is still a Windows computer. And I have found myself constantly doing technical computer things like hopping inside the terminal, updating drivers which shouldn't be as difficult as it is if i hand this to my little brother he won't know what to do with it if i hand this to my girlfriend she can't just pop on a game there's like settings that she needs to configure there's a lot of computer savvy things that you have to know and that you have to be prepared for before you buy this because there are many issues that are happening right now the software isn't the best and they're and you're constantly going to be looking up how to fix this, how to fix that. Performance not working, this and this and that. It is crazy. So if this is your first Windows handheld, just expect to learn quite a bit about how computers work because you're going to need to know that in order to seamlessly traverse through the Windows 11. If you've got kids, now here's a little side note. This thing is underestimated. People don't talk about this. There's a little scroller on the right side and by golly gee, is this thing useful. Instead of you having to move your cursor over to the channel bar or using your hand to actually swipe and scroll, you can just use this thing to seamlessly do it without having to move your hand and getting uncomfortable, which is very convenient to have. It goes such a long way, especially when compared to other handhelds. Now, this is something that you've heard from many reviewers that the speakers are not good. And I agree, they're not good. However, all it takes is a proper EQ, and I can promise you that the sound quality will go from a three to a solid six or seven and a half. It's crazy how much of a long way the EQ goes. Not only that, you can also turn up the bass volume so it's much more louder than it previously was when you unboxed it. Thank you for checking this video out. If you liked what you saw, you know what to do. Help me out here. I really enjoy making these videos. So thank you for, again, watching. Peace out.